Hello friends. So we have completed the study of all the shlokas of the 14th chapter of Bhagavad Gita. So in today's video, I will be providing you the summary of the teachings of the 14th chapter. So the 14th chapter basically is describing the material power of uh, the Lord, which uh, includes both uh, mind and matter. So, the chapter mostly is focused on the three qualities of nature, which is Sattva, Rajas and uh, Tamas, wherein Sattva has been described to be the mode of knowledge, while uh, the, uh, the uh, mode of uh, passion is Rajas and the mode of ignorance is Tamas. So, what Sri Krishna described in this chapter is that uh, the being he attaches to a particular quality of nature and by attaching to that particular quality of uh, nature the the being basically attains his uh, destination you can say or his final uh, final form you can say or the yoni the birth the kind of birth that one gets so if the being is uh, attaching to the sattva quality, then sattva quality is basically the mode of knowledge or the mode of uh, goodness. And so when the being attaches to this quality, then this quality lifts the being up and uh, the being becomes more and more knowledgeable and he attains higher and higher forms in nature. If on the other hand, the being attaches to rajas, then rajas is the mode of passion and uh, with this mode of passion, what happens is that the being then starts to act out of greed. And when he acts out of greed, then he is performing actions for himself. And so the Lord is not really able to help him. And uh, such a being basically gets stuck with his own actions in this world, in, in the form to which he belongs. The Tamas, on the other hand, is the mode of ignorance. And uh, what uh, this leads to is... Uh, confusion or uh, darkness so whenever someone attaches with the mode of uh, ignorance which is tamas then all the actions that that action that person performs are all uh, all uh, inferior and when those actions are performed then that lead to the downfall of the being so the being basically goes down and down and down and attaches to attains the lower and lower forms now Sri krishna also clarify over here that in all beings all these three qualities actually are present, but one quality is the one which is dominant. And whatever quality that a being attaches to, that is the quality which becomes dominant in the being. And so the actions of that being then become motivated by that particular quality. And uh, the actions then lead to the rising up or the downfall of, uh, of the being. Now, Sri Krishna also is clarified in this slogan that all the actions actually are happening by the interaction of these, these modes of nature, these qualities of nature. And uh, uh, the, the Purush or the observer or the being, that one is not really performing any actions. That one is only attaching to a particular mode of nature, a particular quality of nature. And based on that attachment, then the the uh, the form is determined so we think that we are doing actions we think that uh, i am the one who is performing an action and all these things are changing in me my body is changing my personality is changing but that is not really the case all these changes are actually happening by the interaction of these qualities while the purush is only the observer the only thing that the purush has to do is to attach to one of these qualities and if uh, the purush attaches to a particular quality then that is what will uh, will uh, determine the fate of that person and so what we have to actually do is to go beyond these qualities if we can go beyond these qualities then then we can attain the highest which is basically the mode of shri krishna and uh, in that regards then arjun then asks shri krishna that okay what uh, are the is the behavior of a person who has gone beyond all of these qualities how should i identify such a person and shri krishna says that such a being remains totally unaffected by these qualities so basically for him there is no duality in this world 
if uh, there is pain then also that person is not affected if there is pleasure then also that person is not affected if there is uh, there is uh, credit that a person gets then also is not affected if he gets defame then also it is not is not affected by that such a person remains completely unaffected by the trials and tribulations of this nature and is is in a very stable state he doesn't really care if he gets sorrow or happiness he doesn't really care if he gets honor or dishonor praise or criticism etc he is just the steady state final that state of brahm that shri krishna says that it's the state of brahm that a person is able to attain who has transcended these qualities and shri krishna in the end describe that the way to get to it is by devotion to me with absolute necessity if a person is completely devoted to shri krishna then he will attain the nature of shri krishna and shri krishna is the is the place where brahm stands and brahm is in which the purush and prakriti actually are so if you attach to shri krishna then you will be able to transcend the modes of nature will be able to transcend these qualities of prakriti and you will be able to get up rise above them and get to the state of brahm Uh, which is basically situated or standing on shri krishna so what we have to understand from this chapter is basically that in this nature all these changes that are happening are happening by the interaction of the qualities over there and if we attach to a particular quality then that is what determines our fate if we don't attach to any of the qualities then we will be able to go beyond these qualities these qualities are only happening in nature our true nature is beyond these three qualities so in order to attain our true nature we have to go beyond these three qualities and the way to attain that state wherein we have gone beyond these qualities is by supreme devotion with absolute necessity a devotion to shri krishna who is the abode of brahma so that was basically what was the message of this chapter i hope that i have explained this chapter well to you with that i'll close this video and in the next video i'm going to be presenting to you a quiz with regards to this chapter so take care